All right. <clears throat> now we've got uh, listening part four. Complete the notes below. Part four and part one are somewhat similar. Uh, because in part one, we've got one word and part four also one word. But there is a difference. In part one, there is a dialogue. And part four is a lecture. One person will talk, deliver a lecture. So audio can be uh, fluent in part four. Bird migration theory. Now, you know, birds migrate from Siberia to other parts and this and that. So they are going to discuss some theories which are related to bird migration. Okay. Most birds are believed to migrate seasonally. Okay, now the first theory is hibernation theory. Second is transmutation theory. And then they talk about 17th century scientific developments and all that. So these are the headings of the lecture. Because in part 3 there is a lecture. They will help you track the audio. Otherwise, if you are somewhere, audio is somewhere, you will never find the answers. Okay. Uh, the first is hibernation theory. It was believed that birds hibernated underwater or buried themselves in dash. Now theory, one theory is birds hibernated underwater. One thing is underwater or buried themselves for buried. Underline the word buried. They may use the word hidden. An answer will come after in. Hidden where? Hidden in the trees, hidden in the sand, hidden in where? So answer will come where the birds buried themselves. Okay, that thing. Now, let's see. Part four. You will hear a zoology student giving a presentation on bird migration. Scientists believe that a majority of the Earth's bird population migrate in some fashion or other. Some travel seasonally for relatively short distances such as birds that move from their winter habitats in lowlands to mountaintops for the summers. Others, like the Arctic tern, travel more than 25,000 miles seasonally between the northern and southern poles. Bird migration has been studied over many centuries through a variety of observations. But until relatively recently, where birds went to in the winter was considered something of a mystery. The lack of modern science and technology led to many theories that we now recognise as error-filled and even somewhat amusing. Take hibernation theory, for example. Now, from here, you have to be alert. Before that, it was all ba 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 ba. You understand my point? You need to see where answer is going to come. Only listen to that part carefully. If you listen to everything carefully, you will have no energies left. So you should know when to listen carefully and when to calm down. So all that thing continued for 37 seconds. And then she said, for example, hibernation theory, now you'll be alert. Right? And answer will come after underwater. First they will say underwater and then and you should know when answer is coming. When you are coming closer, 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 and bingo, there is the answer, and then it will continue, right? So, let's go on. 2,000 years ago, it was commonly believed that when birds left an area, they went underwater to hibernate in the seas and oceans. Another theory for the regular appearance and disappearance of birds was that they spent winter hidden in mud, Till the weather changed and... Okay, they spent winter hidden in mud. Exactly. So mud is the right answer. Got it now? And you should know in part four, audio is going to be fluent. Why? Because there is no interruption. When there is a dialogue, there is interruption. Two people are talking. But when there is a lecture, one person is talking. So you should know all these things. Now, transmutation theory... And question number 32, in autumn, when they use the word autumn, you will be alert because the answer is going to come. In autumn, he observed that red starch. Now, if you don't know where red starch is, don't worry. It's basically a bird. Yeah. Uh, it is observed that red starch experience the loss of. Now, red start is a bird. In the month of autumn, they lose something. Underline loss of. And right there, lose. For example, they lose their something, some part of body, right? Or, or they lose their nest. They lose their something, okay? So whatever they lose or whatever is lost, 
lose, lost, lost. They can use passive voice as well. That will be the answer. So red starts, clue word. And what red starts lose, that will be your answer. One of the earliest naturalists and philosophers from ancient Greece was Aristotle, who was the first writer to discuss the disappearance and reappearance of some bird species at certain times of year. He developed the theory of transmutation, the seasonal change of one species into another by observing red starts and robins. He observed that in the autumn, small birds called red starts began to lose their feathers, which convinced Aristotle that they changed into robins for... Okay, begin to lose their feathers. Correct answer is feather. Feather is per. Okay, so red starts, and they mention in the audio, small birds like red starts. They don't check your vocabulary, high five vocabulary. They just tell you red start is a bird. Begin to lose their feathers. Begin to lose feathers means the loss of feathers. How do you spell feathers? F-E-A-T-H-E-R-S, exactly. All right, just like fathers with E, F-E-A, okay? Let's go on. Question number 33. Aristotle's assumptions were logical because the two species of birds had a similar. I show you some magic. Underline similar and write their same. Similar nature, same nature. Similar personality, same personality. Now, whatever they say after the synonym of similar, that will be your answer. These assumptions are understandable, given that this pair of species are similar in shape, but are a classic example of an incorrect interpretation based on correct observations. Similar in shape. So similar in shape means similar shape. Yeah, they use the same word. These assumptions are understandable, given that this pair of species are similar in shape. This pair of species, for two they use the word pair. This pair of species are similar in shape. Similar in shape means shape will be the right answer. And it's one word only, so you cannot write in shape. Question number 17, Charles Morton. Now when they say 17th century, sorry, question number 34, 17th century, Charles Morton popularized the idea that birds fly to the dash. It's a location. Birds fly to the dash in winter. A location where birds fly to in winter. Okay, let's see. The most bizarre theory was put forward by an English amateur scientist, Charles Morton, in the 17th century. He wrote a surprisingly well-regarded paper, claiming that birds migrate to the moon and back every year. Okay, birds migrated to the moon and back every year right you know you understand how stupid scientists were in the past birds migrated to moon and back every year so what does it mean fly to the for fly to they use the word migrated moon right just see that some someone said they were hidden in the mud birds were hidden in the mud and some said bird changed their species like they have a feather loss and stalks turn into robins that's just what they said, okay? Now you're laughing. But at that time, it was a serious theory they presented and all that. So how do we believe that we evolved from monkeys? That's what Darwin said, okay? So they, at, at that time, they were quite silly. Like, how can birds fly to the moon in winter and come back in summer? Okay, let's go on. Question number 35, scientific developments. In 1822, when, and now 1822 is the word which you need to highlight. It is your signpost, okay? When they say 1822, you are alert. A stalk was killed. Now, as we are talking about birds migration, it means stalk is a bird. A stalk was killed in Germany, which had an African spear in its dash. Now, spear is a little arrow. Okay, we call it spear. There was a stalk which was killed in Germany. That stalk had a spear in its. It means part of bird. In its neck, in its tail, in its belly, in its head, in its wing. So where they hit him, 
with the arrow so that spear where was the spear now the location of spear in the body part of the stalk will be the right answer one of the key moments in the development of migration theory came in 1822 when a white stork was shot in germany This particular stork made history because of the long spear in its neck which incredibly had not killed Okay a long spear in its neck right answer is neck well done Okay question number 36 previously there had been no dash Okay now try to understand this point very technical in circle the word no and write there first now for example if i have this tablet and i say previously i had no tablet what does it mean this is my first tablet so no and first they are stupid synonyms in ielts okay so previously i had no tablet it means it's my first tablet right so let's see now just focus this idea and you'll find the answer This was a truly defining moment in the history of ornithology because it was the first evidence that storks spend their winters in sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, it was the first evidence. What does it mean? Previously there had been no evidence. No and first they are synonyms. So answer is evidence. Question number 37 little was known about the dash and journeys of migrating bird underline journeys and write their travel for journeys they can use the word travel now uh, another word which will come before journeys or before travel that will be your answer little was known about the dash and journey You can still see the arrow stalk in the zoological collection of the University of Rostock in Germany. People gradually became aware that European birds moved south in autumn and north in summer, but didn't know much about it until the practice of catching birds and putting rings on their legs became established. Before this, very little information was available about the actual destinations of particular species and how they traveled there. Okay, destinations and how they travel there. So one thing is travel and second is destinations. Well done. So you may write singular or plural. Little was known about the destination or destination and you can do one thing. Whenever they use and If the other word with and is singular you should write singular word if other word with and is plural you should also write plural word so they've written journeys so you should write destinations right even if you write destination your answer is correct no problem okay let's go on question number 38 it was thought large birds carried small birds on some journeys See there another stupid idea like large birds carried small birds come and sit on my back and I'll take you there because they were considered incapable of traveling across huge dash now answer will come after the synonym of huge underline huge and write there vast w a s t vast huge dash vast dash for example huge desert vast desert huge sea vast sea something like that people speculated that larger birds provided a kind of taxi service for smaller <laughs> birds by carrying them on their backs this idea came about because it seemed impossible that small birds weighing only a few grams could fly over vast oceans fly This over idea. vast oceans well done so correct answer oceans or ocean both ways it's correct question number 39 ringing depended on what is called now remember whenever they use the word called they commonly replace it with known called the dash known as right 
called the known as now whatever they say after the synonym of known as will be your answer the development of bird ringing by a danish school teacher hans christian cornelius mortensen made many discoveries possible this is still common practice today and relies upon what is known as recovery this is when okay, ring what is known as recovery and by the way there are inverted commas as well so known as called as this is very common i've seen this called as known as several times in ielts okay let's go on last question in 1931 the first dash to show the migration of european birds was printed for printed they use the word published so 1931 what was published the first dash in 1931 an atlas was published showing where the most common species of european birds migrated to more recent theories about okay atlas was published you know atlas yeah it's the map of the world exactly a t l a s correct answer is atlas please listen again some of you missed it In 1931 an atlas was published showing where the most common species of european birds migrated to more recent theories about bird migration vary widely okay atlas was published so when they say in 1931 an atlas was published it means it was the first one right so atlas is the right answer 